Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. An electron accelerated through a potential difference V1 has a de Broglie wavelength of lambda. When the potential is changed to V2, its de Broglie wavelength increases by 50%. The value of V1 upon V2 is equal to. Here we have given four options option A, 4, option B, 9 by 4, option C, 3, and option D, 3 by 2. As per the laws of conservation of energy, here potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. So here potential energy in the form of electrostatic energy can be written as Ev equal to and kinetic energy can be written as 1 by 2 mv square. Okay. And multiply and denominator by m to the right side. Now it become m into m m square v square upon m. E v here E is the electron charge and V is the potential difference 1 by 2. Here mv can be written as momentum. So it can be written as T square upon m. So 2 E v m equal to P square or it can be written as P equal to root 2 E v m. Okay, it is equation number first. Now from D Broglie wave equation lambda is equal to h by p. Now substitute the value of p from first equation lambda equal to h by what is the value root 2 e v m. Now you can see that here h plane constant 2 e m all these values are constant so it can be written as lambda proportional to 1 by root v. Okay. Now it can be written as because lambda or wavelength is inversely proportional to root v. Okay, so here lambda 1 upon lambda 2 equal to root v2 upon v1. Is it okay? But in the given question here lambda 2 is 50% more than of lambda 1. So what does it mean? Lambda 1 50% of increasing 50% more than of this lambda 1. So here lambda 2 equal to 51 is a 50, 52 is a 100, then 2 1 is a 2 and 3, 3 by 2 lambda 1. So here 2 by 3 is equal to lambda 1 on lambda 2. Is it okay? Now substitute this value in equation number second. So here in the place of lambda 1, lambda 2 can be written as 2 by 3. Okay, root v2 upon v1. Squaring both the side, it become 4 by 9. 4 by 9 equal to v2 upon v1 or but we have asked v1 upon v2. So it can be written as 9 by 4. So it is correct answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.